In this video, I'm going to show you the Red Raven camera. So in the kit that you get from Media Resources, you'll find the camera body with an 18 to 35 millimeter zoom lens, 120 gigabyte mini mag, one hex key, one Torx key, a top handle, a dual battery charger, mini mag reader, viewfinder, you'll find two V-lock batteries, an AC power adapter and cable for the camera. In the upper portion of the case, you'll find AC adapter and cable for a battery charger, EVF cable, USB SATA cable, a microfiber cloth, two extra screws and an Allen key. Make sure you double check all of the contents of the kit before leaving media resources. Now I'm gonna give you an orientation to the camera body. Starting in the top left, you'll find a relocation port for the monitor. You can use the extension cable provided in the kit. Below that is the SSD port. Below that are a couple of mounting points. On the front of the SSD port, there are two user buttons, and in between that is the record, start, and stop button. Here we have an EF mount, which houses the Dragon 4.5K sensor. Here you will find another record, start, and stop button. Starting at the top, you'll find an eighth inch audio jack and a headphone jack. Below that is a USB sync and control for start and stop recording, if you want to do that remotely, and also for syncing time code. You have HDMI, SDI, and then DC in, if you're going to plug in to a wall. You'll also find the V-Lock battery plate here on the back. On the side, you'll find the eject button for removing the battery. On top of that, you'll find the DTAP power for going out if you want to power some accessories. Here you'll find two fans for heat ventilation to cool off the camera while you're using it. You'll also find another port here which you would use to attach a top handle with a stop start recording button. On top, you'll also find the port for attaching the monitor. Modules, expanders, SSD cards, and lens mounts are not hot swappable, meaning you cannot remove or install these items while the camera is turned on. Before installing or removing these items, you must turn off the camera. Failure to do so may result in damage to the item or camera that is not covered under the warranty. So to attach the, the monitor, you use the smaller hex key. You just want to tight it, tighten it securely, but don't over tighten. Do not use a red display as a handle to lift or carry the camera. Damage to a red display or other components of the camera system caused by using the display as a handle are not covered under the warranty. The top handle attaches in front of it with the larger hex key. Red cameras record onto SSD cards called Red Mini Mags and are capable of recording in Red Code RAW, Apple ProRes, or Avid DNX HDR. Red Code RAW is a proprietary file format for Red cameras. You'll see it displayed as .r3d. Red Code permits a wide range of compression settings to suit your particular storage and usage requirements. V-mount battery. Do not expose the battery to excessive heat. There's a danger of explosion if an incorrect battery is charged with the red charger or is used to power the camera and accessories. Replace only with the same or equivalent type of battery. Just slides in. There's a little release here on the side and a locking ring for the lens. I'm going to match up the red dot on the lens and the lens mount. Twist until it clicks into place. The Raven kits come with an 18 to 35 millimeter zoom lens. However, there are a range of prime lenses available that you can borrow from media resources separately. Please take a look at our equipment list on our support site for more details.